Welcome back to another video and as you guys can see from the title we have another Timu haul. Now this haul is a little different. If you guys checked out my last Timu haul that was like my first time ordering from them. This Timu haul is a little different like it's still a haul but most of the items in this package are what I plan to pack in my hospital bag. So this is not only a Timu haul, but it's also a what's in my hospital bag. Cut the talk and jump right into it as always. Timu has been getting a lot of controversy, so I honestly just took another chance and ordered from them. Well, the thing is about ordering from like these vendors, these company is, you don't wanna put your credit card information directly on their website. So I think that's probably why a lot of people are going through that whole fraud and getting their credit card information or bank state or bank information stolen and sold on the black web or whatnot. But I personally don't think it's, I don't know. I think it's just like any other company where when you put your credit card information in, you're risking that somebody can hack into their system and take it. So that's just my opinion on it. So I'm opening the package up. As always, these companies are going to make sure they stick everything in one packaging, and I love it. So I bought a whole bunch of items, y'all. So I'm just going to go through these things one by one. I'm just going to pick out what's in the package and then show you guys. First item, I bought a whole bunch of lip therapy moisturizers because when giving birth, they say to make sure you have lips not lipstick but like moisturizer because again like you're gonna be dehydrated you're gonna be hot your lips gonna get chapped so i bought a whole bunch for me and my husband so um you know i'm always have some on deck in my purse or whatever like that but these are like the main things <clears throat> that i order and these are fairly cheap i think i got these for like maybe two dollars and it comes in four so um yeah this is cocoa butter original i think it's supposed to be like vaseline but of course they got to change the name copyright right aloe vera as well as rosy so again these for sure are essential to packing your hospital bag so i'm packing one in my bag and one in my husband's bag next thing i got were these i believe these are um breast breast milk leaking so like if you're these are like reusable i forget what their name is but basically um it helps with like leaking with the breasts and they're reusable which is awesome so i'll have it up on the screen um the screen the name and i'll also have most of these linked i may not be able to have everything linked but i'll do my best to link everything but i bought a whole bunch of these so that way i can have them in my bra to help with the leaking because i do hear once that milk production get going your breasts leak a lot especially when you sleep so um these come in they come in a pack of 10 and this is the little packaging that you could put it in i don't think i need to bring these with me i think i just needed these in general but if i do bring these with me i there is a on the go pouch that they do send this is where you store them this is what you use when you want to put them in the purse so it comes with all this i believe i'm not sure how much i pay for it but i'll put them all on the screen how much each item is great use make sure you wash these too i'm not going to just put these on my breast and not wash them make sure you wash them as you get certain things another thing i bought was hair ties normally like for like us um women of color we'll get our hair braided during birth not during birth but for labor and delivery i honestly didn't feel like getting some braids in my head reason being is that i still gotta take those braids out who the heck is gonna help me take those braids out when it's time to take them out so i gotta think of things like that so i'm probably gonna have my natural hair out i bought a whole bunch of hair ties to bring with me to put my hair in a quick little ponytail if ever needed so these i'm just gonna leave them in here but yeah hair ties is important to have for your hospital bag the next thing I bought, I'm not sure what this is. I had to go back on my phone and look up those um, breast leaking pads. They're called nursing pads, just to clarify. This is basically 
a nipple suction corrector. I don't have inside nipples, it's, I think that's what they call them, but this also helps like erect it as well. So I bought this just to have it just in case because you just never know what you go through when it comes to breastfeeding. The next thing I bought is nursing bras. You wanna make sure you have a whole bunch of these. So I bought a variety, they come in three. Here's how one of them look. I don't even think this, I don't think this is gonna fit and I think I got a large. Yep, I got a large and these things look small. So this is how it looks. Not the best quality, but at least to have something when it comes to nursing. So this is where you open it up. And you know, of course, uh, breastfeeding your baby. This is where the tag is. Great thing, it, it looks like it's comfortable. It's 86% polyamide and 14% elastin so better than nothing right i know there's like better quality bras but i wanted to try these just to have them in my dresser for home or like if i'm like taking my um, baby to the doctor like i have a nursing bra on so you want to make sure you have a whole bunch of them so i got a package of three comes in pink tan and it also comes in gray so, um, so far so good. I am a 38D. Prior to pregnancy, I was a 36D. Well, not was. I am a 36D prior to pregnancy. But so far, it doesn't seem like I think it'll fit, but we'll make it work. So you wanna pack nursing bras when packing your hospital bag. So make sure if you shop to move, get a whole bunch of these because they're extremely affordable. The next thing I ordered were shower shoes. These are extremely essential. You don't want to put your foot when you're in the bathroom. You don't want to be in a hospital shower, taking a shower. You don't know what done happened, who done died on that shower floor. So make sure you have shower sandals, slippers, or whatever it is when packing your hospital bag. So I got these. And I got these in the size, I believe, eight and a half. Yeah, I wanted them big. I'm not going to really use these as often unless like I'm going to like a theme park, water park, whatever. This is the only time I'll wear these again. But I wanted to make sure I had shower sandals when I am in the hospital and I'm doing my first shower. So definitely pack these and order you some if you don't already have them. The next thing I ordered is a toothbrush holder so that way my husband and I can put our toothbrush in our toothpaste in here. It's big enough. I got it in pink. Cute. It could fit two, two, two toothbrushes and a toothpaste and toothpaste. So definitely uh, make sure when packing your toothbrush and your toothpaste, it's in a holder. So it's not. Make sure you sanitize this too. Okay, stands up. But um, but make sure they're in a the holder so they're not being tossed around in your bag. But I needed to order this because I don't have a toothbrush holder, unfortunately. The next thing I ordered was a with some pajamas. I'll have on the screen here how these look, but these are like um, nightgowns. I'm not sure how long I'll be in the hospital, um, or who we'll be in the hospital for, but I wanted to order some like nightgowns in order for me to sleep in. Um, I know um, this is also like a nursing bra, so like with this one, you can open it from the side and breastfeed your baby. So that's technically what I wanted. I wanted some comfort and the accessibility to grab my bra, I mean my titties out, my breast out, and feed the baby. So I thought this was so cute. I'll have on the screen how it looks so you guys can be the judge of it. But make sure you guys are washing these. Don't, don't just pack it without washing it. Make sure you wash any type of apparel that you order anywhere online. I ordered some non-slip socks. They do recommend bringing non-slip socks to the hospital. They have these like little plastic things on the bottom in order to keep you from slipping. So I bought like three of these. So this is like a peach color that I got. I'm not sure where the other are or the where the others are, but um, so far I got a peach and think I got two other ones. Ooh, my daughter is kicking. Jeez, girl. Another thing I ordered were underwears. These are considered postpartum underwear. They come in a pack of three. Comes in blue, gray, and pink. And this just helps whether you pushed or had a C-section. This this is just 
panties to have on deck and they're big enough to add if you push hopefully I push um, to add your popsicle pad you know um, your pads your whatever the case is and it's you know big enough so yeah I bought a whole bunch of these Come, this comes in a pack of three these definitely will be coming with me make sure you wash them this is another pair of non slip socks this is in the color gray next thing I ordered were pajamas again these are the pajama bottoms and these are the pajama tops so cute it has little hearts on there again this is considered like a maternity um, pajamas you can unbutton and whip out the breast and feed your baby this is in the color yellow thought I'd buy these um, for comfort I'll bring these to the hospital yours I prefer to overpack than underpack because you never know what could happen the day of labor and delivery you could be planning for a vaginal birth and then you end up having c-section and you end up being in the hospital longer than expected so you always want to kind of overpack um, just in case I bought some loungewear as well this again I'll have it on the screen here it comes with pants it just says wellness self-love just to either you can have this as like a to um, go home lounge outfit when you're leaving the hospital but um, yeah this actually is really good quality I got everything a size up I'm normally a medium but I got a large because I want to be as comfortable as possible I don't want nothing tight on my body like my body just went through something so traumatic so I don't want nothing tight on me again I bought some two-piece loungewear another one this is actually considered period panties so these are these are how they look this is how it look on the inside these are reusable period panties I'm not sure if I would use it strictly with no nothing on there but I'll definitely be putting a pad on there the good thing about it is since they are period panties and period blood does get on this then I don't have nothing to worry about because that's what they're here for so there's a pack of three comes with navy blue red and black um, they are rewashable so these were something that I am gonna pack with me as well just in case keep in mind the hospital do give you um, some stuff but some people are wary of what the hospital gives them so they end up bringing them up their own stuff I'm just bringing it just in case. I bought another nursing bra, another style of it. This is in gray, and um, this is just one of those bras where you could just whip off, the, whip the breast out, and feed your baby. The good thing about it is that it comes with like absorbent, so if you're when your breast starts leaking, it absorbs it. But as much as people tell me your breast leaks a lot, I highly doubt that it'd be able to collect the amount of leakage that'll probably happen so that's why it's important to bring those nursing pads I bought more pajamas and this one is actually similar to the two-piece pajamas I bought but this is actually like a nightgown super cute and it's silk and it comes with hearts and this is also considered a nursing pajamas so cute so I'll definitely see it on the screen here but I'll definitely be packing this in my bag with me just in case again you just never know how long you're going to be in there and you want to be comfortable they do say you can request these from the hospital and sometimes they just give them to you regardless but this is a belly band that you want to put on almost immediately after birth to help i believe i forget what they say it helps with but it is um, postpartum recovery so i got this in a size medium uh, i didn't want to get a large because i didn't want to um tighten my belly too much because my belly just went through something traumatic so I bought this just to have it to help with the recovery process they do say the hospital gives it but not all not all hospital do so I'm bringing it just in case the hospital I'm going to does not give it to me or I forget to ask another pair of underwears these are considered high-waisted non-detectable postpartum underwear so I got all black in these. They come in a pack of pack of three, and I got them all in a size large. These are like these are considered like skim stoops, honestly, but they're real soft. They're high waisted, so it helps whether you got C-section or you pushed or whatever. It helps with the just helps with the comfort of having underwear on. If you don't want underwear, you just want you want to make sure you have 
different styles of underwear depending on your mood so if you don't want nothing that's under your belly you want something that's more high-waisted just make sure you have different styles but another nursing bra so with this style then um, you take off the this is where you right hold on some of these are a little different so yeah I think this is where you unbuckle the bra so if you get something like this which is such a pretty color you unbuckle it here and it just drops it and then you you know show your breast to the baby so the baby can eat so I got this one definitely will be packing that with me I probably won't but you never know I also you know I can't buy things and not buy my baby something bought her a little swaddler not as thick but it's good enough so I bought this and Swaddle the baby. I'll probably swaddle my baby for a good eight weeks and then I'll no longer need to swaddle her anymore. I bought this swaddle and then it also comes with this little cute hat. So cute. Hopefully it fits her head. Hopefully she, does, she doesn't have her daddy hair because let me see if it stretches. It's stretchy but just in case. I also bought this so that way I can put like my lotion, facial essentials, like all of this and the and these little bottles. I'm not gonna bring my whole skincare routine. Like I'm only gonna put samples in these. So like it comes with these little things. Like if you have eye cream, put them in here. Also like little things. These are like perfect for travel too. So yeah, it just comes with all these essentials like spray bottles, spray bottles, um, serum bottles, like all of the essentials that's needed to put your skincare in there. So I wanted something like this so that way it's just going into like my hospital bag without me having to bring a whole huge bottle of CeraVe. These also come with like these little adapters in order so that way it's easier to pour in the product into these containers. I bought additional spray bottles just in case because a lot of my skincare routines requires a lot of spraying. Ooh, this feels like it's good material. So here's another little loungewear that I bought. So cute. This actually feels really good. This is something I'm also going to bring just in case, depending on if I change my mind on which loungewear I want to wear when going home. There's so much controversial going on with baby mittens. Some people say just put socks on their hands or get onesies that have the mittens attached to it already. But for me, I bought it. So I bought little mittens because we all know in the beginning, you're not supposed to cut your baby's nails in the beginning. I bought little mittens to put on her just for probably the first few weeks when she comes just to keep her from pulling her hair and scratching herself because their nails I hear is super sharp and quite honestly I think I'd be feeling her nails in the womb already so that's definitely going to be awesome but I bought more pajamas so look how cute this is it's like little teddy bear pajamas and it's long I don't believe this is a nursing pajama but this is just something for me to have when going to sleep when I'm home um yeah, I thought it was cute. That was this was just something I wanted to buy because I thought it was cute. So, and last but not least, this is just the pink non-slip sock that I say that I ordered. I bought three. I bought three of them. So um, this is the pink one. So that is everything that I got from Timu. Let me go ahead and show you guys what is currently in my hospital bag. Uh, now that you guys see what I'll be adding additional to what I already have packed. Okay, so, so far what I have in my hospital bag is fuzzy socks, um, which I'll probably take out since I forgot that I ordered um, the fuzzy non-slip socks. I also have some maternity shorts in here, just to have in here. Again, more fuzzy socks. I also have a heating pad. Listen, y'all, during labor, your back gonna be hurting, everything gonna be hurting. So they say to always have some sort of heating pad with you to help with the back, lower back pain that you may experience during labor. And listen, you know I'm bringing a tripod because we're vlogging it, okay? So I got a tripod in here. It's like a cheaply made tripod. I'll probably bring one of my 
Canon's with me. My Canon G7X will probably be with me. I also have a birthing comb. I've heard great things about these things. So like whenever you're going through labor and the birthing process, you're going to be in so much pain due to contractions. Like my whole mindset right now is to have an open mind and try to go through labor and delivery with no epidural. If you know me, you know, I don't like pain. So I'm going to do my best. I may request the epidural, but before I do, I'm going to make sure I use this little birthing comb, which helps with uh, distracting your brain when you're in a lot of pain. You just squeeze it into your palm to help. Basically, it doesn't relieve pain, but it helps distract your brain, if that makes sense. So this is what I ordered, and this is what's in my hospital bag. I got it on Amazon. I bought some nipple cream. Um, because they do say that the first latch is hard, your nipples go to hurting, so I'm going to make sure I'm prepared to moisturize my nipples just to make sure they're not cracked or anything like that. I also bought this um, lacrosse ball to help with like the birthing process and rubbing it, rubbing it against my back while well, my husband will be doing that. So that's why I have this in here. As well as a mini fan so my husband can have next to me because they say I think the coldest that the hospital can get is like 40 degrees and I've heard every mama say that they've been hot even when the hospital was at its coldest or the room was at its coldest. So I have this fan in here fully charged. And then this also comes with a little small bag. This is exactly where I'll be putting those, um, my little small facial cream and stuff like that. I'll be putting them all in here. That's about it. Uh, there are a few other things that I'll be adding but other than that that is it you guys I may also bring like one of those like baby brushes or whatever but the hospital gives you all of that stuff like all like the main essentials you need like the first couple days of your baby being birthed and into this world the hospital do gives you these things so there's technically not many things you need to bring one thing that I am bringing is her going home outfit because we all know football season is here and if you don't know I am an Eagles fan and she's gonna be an Eagles fan so I am trying to find me a cute little outfit to pack in there well not fine I do have one I just gotta buy it to have packed and washed and ready for her to wear when we're leaving the hospital but that is it you guys I thank you guys so much for watching this video if you made it this far thank you I appreciate you write down in the comments if you found this video helpful if you're trying to figure out what to pack in your hospital bag I hope I was able to give you some ideas on what to pack don't forget to have your bottled water with you as well that's something I am gonna bring with me and don't forget that camera but anyway I'll catch you guys in the next video Let's go.